the story of how I met the love of my life. So 10 years ago, I was going home using my favorite form of transportation, uh, drunk and stumbling. Um, <laughs> It was a snowy night and uh, I was almost home. I had my keys in the front door of my building when I saw this very tall, handsome guy carrying a bookshelf through the blizzard. And I was like, maybe if I help him, he'll help me. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> like my mom, a good Samaritan. You know what I'm saying? So I uh, played with my tits. So I, um, <laughs> I went and I offered my help, okay? And uh, we ended up carrying this bookshelf six or seven blocks through the snow and then up six flights of stairs on a walk up. And we got into that dark apartment and I was ready for the moment, you know what I'm saying? And then he turned on the light and all of a sudden I saw like wigs and glitter and dresses everywhere. And I was like, ah! <laughs> I suspected then what I know now, which is that drag queens are fucking scary, okay? <laughs> so I, I was like, I, I'm sorry, I'm not into drag queens. I, I don't like drag. I'm getting out of here, and I ran. And uh, it was too late, though. My fate had been sealed. He saw where I lived, so he would come every weekend and knock on my uh, building, come inside and say hello, and say, listen, if you're afraid of drag, the only way to get rid of that is to try it yourself. Don't knack it till you tried it. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I said, maybe, um, which is gay for no. Um, <laughs> right? You're like, can you come to my birthday? Maybe. <laughs> that is the ugliest effing skirt I have ever seen. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, we have our own tongue, everybody. Um, but yeah, finally I had to make good on my maybe because he asked me so many fucking times. And what happened was I went to his place, he put me in face, facing away from the mirror, put me in a wig, turned me around to see my reflection, and I saw something I had never seen before. I saw this. And at that moment, I fell in love with somebody that would stay with me despite changes in weight, despite my temper, despite my trash behavior, despite my history. At that moment, I fell in love with myself, okay? And that is the only love that has brought me real happiness over the years. Like, yeah, sure, I'm a little rounder now. I may have a short fuse. I may be a bit of a hoe. But <laughs> I love myself because of these things, not in spite of them, okay? So what? When it comes to marriage, I fucked up my one shot like Johnson & Johnson, you know? <laughs> At the end of the day, I still have myself and you guys still have you, okay? So this is what I want out of this evening. This is my, my only request. Number one, I want you to leave here loving yourself a little bit more, please, okay? And I want somebody to bring me a bottle of tequila because that's my love language! Thank you, everybody!